name is Angela Wells. I live in Victoria, BC. I'm a painter and a tattoo artist. I've always really liked doing art. Like it's just always been a huge element of my life. My happiest moments are just like being kind of in a creative mode and um, I've always been really into texture. And in high school, I kind of experimented with acrylic and oil. And then during the pandemic, I just started, I had a home studio and I just really started playing around with kind of frosting like textures and using palette knives, using um, like piping bags with icing tips in them. And I just really started to like the feeling of it. Like I just found it really satisfying and I just switched over to acrylic entirely and experimented with different acrylic mediums and making sculptures and paintings and yeah, it's been great. I moved to the studio in September at a home studio for about like two years before that. It was really great, but it is definitely nice to be in a space with another artist and also the church is just beautiful. I found it to be really inspiring and I actually started making stained glass inspired work. I take a lot of inspiration from like bakers and cake decorating and stuff like that. But also, I mean, throughout just like learning processes, like I'll try something and I'll be like, oh, it'd be really cool to do this, but add like chains or add pom poms. And I really like, I've always been really into like crafting. So I feel like mixing, you know, craft stuff like pom poms in with like, I don't know, I guess acrylic paint is a little bit more of like a fine art material. It's very fun. I think it kind of like connects with my inner child a little bit and um, yeah, just creating satisfying art, especially if it's like food related, it feels very like hedonistic. I really like it. <laughs> I found like I watched a lot of cake decorating videos on YouTube and then I was like, how could I do that? I don't really like baking, I've never been a huge baking person. So I started making the sculptures out of styrofoam and spackle and just like piping. But, yeah, and I just did it like, so much because <laughs> I had so much free time and when I started doing art full-time people liked it and wanted to buy it so I started making them and selling them. I think like the cakes they're very like meditative to make. Um, I like making like really like cute things. It kind of reminds me of just like being a kid. I had my first solo exhibition. I definitely want to do more um, like shows and stuff. It's really nice to like have people see my work in person because it is it's so textural that I feel like seeing it on Instagram like doesn't really do it justice. I also probably will try to do more like teaching workshops in the future too. That's definitely a goal of mine, is to get more into teaching. So I started tattooing in 2019. My friend Kate Webb, uh, she took me on as an apprentice. We kind of had like very casual apprenticeship. I don't even know if we'd consider it an apprenticeship, just kind of friends teaching each other. And uh, yeah, I started working on a black cat and we took some breaks here and there, but it was mostly just very chill, me tattooing friends and then eventually started taking on clients. And I, it took a while for me to find my style. I did graffiti for a bit and my, my style is kind of like single line stuff. So when I started tattooing, I kind of transferred over my graffiti style. So I did the single line um, drawings as tattoos. And then I kind of got a little bored of that and I started doing other abstract work. And now I'm doing like fluid black work, um, kind of like oil slick style stuff, but I'm sure it will change again because I'm always kind of looking to improve and develop my style further. Uh, but yeah, it's been great. I love working at Black Cat. Mm -hmm.